Hello friends. I, like many of you, am staying close to home these days. And since I can work from home, I am in the midst of creating a video series to help entertain you or to help you continue your photography, even though you're stuck at home. I shared a video last week on how Raymond and I came to this decision and the first way I'm trying to do my part to help out. And I'll mention that again later in this video, but in this video, I want to share five ways to continue your photography while staying at home. Before we get too far into this, I wanted to remind members to check out Member Monday today. I was sharing Raymond's and my current collection of photography gear. We've made a bunch of changes recently. Members, I will put a link to see that down below in the description. And if you're interested in becoming a member and supporting the channel that way, I will put a link to more information about that in the description as well. Number one, get out that camera and capture the things around you. I have a whole video on this from several years ago. In fact, it was a part of an entire monthly theme where we focused on the everyday in our photography. I will link to the video in the description, but the idea is this, grab your camera and look around you. Especially now that we are being forced to slow down, I'll bet that you will start noticing the beauty around you. Things that you would normally take for granted. How the light comes in from a certain window how that light hits a certain object. See what you can do with that. Here's another idea. Dust off that macro lens or that camera with macro capability and photograph the miniature world that is around you. Do it by walking around your home and taking photos or set up a little mini macro studio with whatever lighting you have around, even if it's just a window. Or how about this? edit those images that you've been meaning to edit, but have been sitting on your hard drive. <laughs> I think we're all guilty of this. Even me, and I post photos on the internet every day for a living. So I edit a lot of my photos, but there are still unedited photos that I liked, but didn't make the cut for a video or for social media. If you have a photo printer, you could even print some. On a related note, re-edit those images that don't have the impact that you currently look for. The images that you edited before you have the editing skills you have now. I know I have looked back at old photos and thought to myself, oh, I could definitely do better. <laughs> Go back and see what you can find and recreate. This might even be a chance to hone those editing skills. And my last idea, finally make that book of images from that trip, that project, that thing that you did that you said, I'm gonna make a book about this. And then you didn't. I've heard it from a lot of viewers. Whatever the reason, time got away from you. You weren't sure if the photos were good enough, whatever. Put the photos all together and make a book, even if it's an ebook. In fact, last week I made one of my ebooks free for download for everyone. And I will link to that video in the description below. Maybe it will give you some ideas on how to organize your own book. Now I am going to choose one or two or all five of these and try them myself in the next several weeks. As awful as the situation is, I think we have an opportunity to challenge our creativity and our photography prowess. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I am continuing to make videos every week. If you have any ideas for me that you wanna learn about, or if you want to see my results from the ideas that I've mentioned today in a video, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.